Hi, this is Jay Guinan from TechRep. We're a national distributor for Milestone Systems VMS products. Today I want to talk to you about a new partner we brought online from Hanwha Techwin America. And essentially the reason we're doing that is because they brought out a new technology in their IP camera uh, product line that allows them to merge into the Milestone Systems platform and allow Milestone to search the metadata stream directly from the camera. For those of you that are not familiar with what metadata does, it's been something that's been talked about for over a decade, but metadata is the actual information the camera sends back, like color, object, size, direction, uh, movement, that type of thing, which up until very recently, we have not had the ability to use as a real tool in our security applications. So I'm going to bring up the camera. The camera itself is, you know, pretty state straightforward camera, and it's in dome. I'm currently working with the uh, PND A9081RV, which is a mini dome with remote zoom focus. Um, it has the same features when you install it into Milestone. You're going to be able to, you know, zoom in digitally and look around and do the things that you do with a normal camera. So the installation process is pretty much the same, but the difference is the searching capability. So if we go to the search tab that's on your milestone, we're going to create a new search environment. So essentially, I'm going to open it up and we're going to look for the last seven days worth of information. I've already chosen the camera, which is the Techwin camera. And then I'm going to op open up my search tool. And now you'll notice that in the search tool, I have a lot more data to look for. Uh, originally, we'd only be able to look for bookmarks or motion. And now I can look for faces, license plates, um, persons, or vehicle. So I have new information that that camera provides to the milestone that allows me to search much deeper than just motion. So let's take a quick look at a vehicle search, right? So we'll click on that and we're gonna do vehicle. Um, I get some options here. I can uh, open the options down and you'll see I can pick a car or a bus, truck, motorcycle, or bike. And I also have the ability then if I wanted to pick color, so I have some basic color here uh, that I can use to find a, a color of the vehicle. Well, let's look at, I don't know, let's pick bikes. That's unusual. And all of a sudden now I have a image with a bike. So we can see that. And when I click on this image, you're gonna see that the thumbnail comes over here where I can play it back. I can pause it. I can zoom in and do other things like I would normally. Or if I want, I can double click on the image and now I'm at the actual playback tab that allows me to play the image back in full screen, right? So that's very, very cool. Um, and that information is there. Well, we know that's a bike, that's pretty interesting, but what if I search for the person, right? So we're gonna do person. Now I get a new uh, version of identifiers we can use, right? I can look for a male or a female. Uh, upper color is their shirt or jacket. Lower color is their pants. And then whether or not they have a bag. I mean, I, these are very generic, but I can pick a male uh, and I want to look for a guy that was wearing green because we just saw the guy on the bike and let me see what we find. And sure enough, the guy on the bike shows up again, as well as some other individuals that are wearing green attire. All right, if we want to change, let's go look for a female. I can change that to a female on the fly. And we have one individual that came up in green. Let's try yellow. And I can do multiple colors, right? I could look for... Uh, uh, people in yellow and in white, and it'll bring up anybody that was wearing white or anybody that was wearing yellow, but we'll focus on yellow real quick. So I'm looking at yellow, and again, I have the same information. I searched, I found this woman in yellow, and there she goes, right? Uh, very interesting information that we can look at very, very quickly that we did not have the ability to do before. Uh, we'll try one more search. Let's look for standard vehicles. I, I don't know what type of vehicle. The person told me, hey, it was just a black car. We don't really know. So we're gonna leave that empty, but we do know that it's black. So we're gonna call out anything that's black. And essentially now I have a thumbnail of all the items that have a black vehicle that's entered that view. These are things that we could not do with, within the milestone uh, before metadata was added. We could have searched for anything that moved in this environment but I couldn't have searched for a specific color. So a couple things I want to uh, cover as well. 
um, we can look for faces and we can look for license plates. But remember, in order to look for those things, you have to have a certain pixel density in order for you to do that. And, and this is about 80 to 125 feet away from their target. So that's not going to be something I can find. But again, if you put the camera in the right location, you would be able to see license plates and you would be able to capture faces as well. So I hope this was uh, giving you some food for thought because honestly, all we got to do is add a Hanwha Techwin camera to your system and you now have more functionality in your milestone than you had before. If you have any questions or comments, please just reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at sales.techrepvideo.com or give us a call at 774-331-2520. Thank you for watching.